Good afternoon. And let's see. <laughs> kinked here. Um, welcome to episode number 675. 675. And the topic today is actually just a little light one because I was talking to somebody about it a little bit earlier, which is why Facebook is a better dating app than Tinder. Before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. Um, I'm going to further back. <clears throat> okay, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, best selling author, inspirational speaker, ready gear. And I help women create balance in love, life, and business. And particularly around relationships is where my speciality is because I am known as the love doctor to my friends and I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. Okay, I think we're still working, so I'm seeing connection coming and going. Okay. Okay, put some notes in the comments because I'm seeing it flip-flop between low connection speed and then connection available. So we'll see what happens. All right, so continuing on. <laughs> um, so being a passionate champion for the divine feminine inspired these talks and also inspired my Facebook lives we've done now for over two years called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart, which is what the MFTM abbreviation stands for. So today we're at episode 675. Hi, Heather, listening from D.C. Wow. Well, I hope you're in the USA. I mean, well, no, no, I say this. I imagine it would be in the USA because of the time zone. If you're in Europe, it would be after midnight. And a lot of people don't watch in Europe that when it's after midnight. But some people do. Um, but thank you for watching. Let me know, Heather. Nice to see you. So the topic today, this, again, this is episode 675. So I'll get myself a quarter of speed. I've, I've had too much caffeine today. I'm a bit bouncy. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, in fact, I spent the last three days, because today's the last day, of staffing the Rocky Mojo weekend with my friend Deborah Kagan, who runs this event twice a year in, in April and October. And frankly, I think it's an amazing win- event for women. I highly recommend you check it out. Um, if you go to rockyourmojowomensweekend.com and go to the bottom, there's a link for the very, very early bird pricing for the next one in October. That's a little hint. And I'm not going to put, put the link in there. you just got to find it if you want to check it out. Anyway, to the topic at hand. Episode 675, why Facebook is a better dating app than Tinder. Now, the obvious thing about Facebook versus Tinder is there's more stuff there. Tinder is a very simplistic... I mean, I frankly think that Tinder is really based on the old website, Hot or Not, if you remember that site from about eight years ago, nine years ago. And I've had issues with Tinder for a long time. Yes, I know people do find their true loves on Tinder. However, how true that is, I don't really know. Because, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of range in that spectrum. But what I'm aware of is that the premise of Tinder is to look for dates or sex or hanging out or something like that. So when you have a um, intention to meet somebody that way, that's great. The problem with Facebook is it's not a Tinder, it's not a dating site specifically. It's not intentionally that way. I know Facebook was going to create, and they didn't launch it, a dating like app within Facebook, which would be interesting. But the thing is, for me, let me put it this way. In the olden days, before there were smartphones and dating apps and dating sites, we would meet each other in social situations, or you'd be introduced by family members, or you connect through friends, or you go to the same, pro- same, same school or the same job and you meet somebody and go out with them. That's how dating used to be in the old days. Nowadays, it's been expedited by putting in these apps that are purely picture meets picture, do you like him or not? It's short-circuited the whole thing. It makes it very, frankly, weak. Facebook, even though it's not the best app in the world, it's got its own issues with security and everything else, is the closest thing I would say in a virtual environment to hang out with your friends socially. When you have, when a lot of people on Facebook, I've got, I mean, I was still a friend of mine about today, today. I would say maybe a third of the people I know on Facebook who are Facebook friends are people I've met in person. The other two thirds I have not met yet in real life. But we're socially connected, or it's business connections, or other sorts of things, which in the dating arena is where I believe is more aligned to where it used to be in the old days. We meet people in real life. Now, what I'm not going to say is you should use Facebook as a dating app and be a, um, what's the word I'm going to look for? A predator, as a word I'll use for now. Because for me personally, Facebook is a great place to connect with people, to make friends, make new connections. Maybe I've actually made some business connections through Facebook as well. But what I like about Facebook is it's, a, it's more of a public arena to meet people. So if you want to say, you want to say, for example, you meet somebody, you think they're cute, you can ask a mutual friend for an introduction or ask a mutual friend what you think of them. Sorry, what they think of them before you go out with them. If you go on Tinder, 
you're basically just throwing a dart at a board and hoping it sticks or looking at a picture and hoping it's the right one because as in everything some people don't represent themselves authentically the dating sites are not um, uh, what's looking at? vetted <laughs> far from it and that's one of the unfortunate things is that a lot of what's going on with the dating sites and dating apps is people don't present themselves authentically so when people say well on Facebook people will set up you know, fake accounts and stuff like that it's no different but I'm saying the chances are more in your favor of meeting somebody you might like when you meet them through social environments whether it's in person or virtually than if you go through just some matching try and match pictures and my feeling is that all these dating apps that are predicated on the fact that you'll meet someone whose picture matches the pictures you're looking for in the right size the right location right height I mean size all right height and weight let's put it that way okay I'm waiting for the siren to go by keep going keep going I don't know how much you're picking up on the microphone because there's a lot of ambient noise so I'm trying to keep it um, clear-headed when I can do it so finishing this up I will say that Facebook is a more friend-based place and I would say that most people in the pre-smartphone era met their dates through people they worked with or people they were friends with so for me Facebook parallels that more accurately than Tinder does but at the same time and I'll say this again I'm not recommending you use Facebook as your personal dating system because that that's effed up but if you meet someone you like and you get to know them and you let them know you're interested in meeting them on a, on a social basis or a, a romantic basis and sending dick pics by the way gentlemen is not the way to do it that's a whole other conversation I've talked about that one before then it's more appropriate because you're doing it from a place you've already built friendship for me the truth is there are people I know friends women I know who I'm attracted to as well who don't live in LA but used to so actually people I know who live in other cities other states in America um, I'll say internationally too mostly in the United States who I know socially who I'm attracted to but I would not maybe have met had we been not connected through Facebook so the opportunities I believe are more available through Facebook and yeah of course Facebook is free which some of the dating sites you've got to pay for some of the dating apps you've got to pay premiums for but I'm speaking more to what's, what the availability is and what the groundwork that's laid out because I don't want to say that Facebook is the way to meet somebody necessarily but and I see lots of people who become more romantically connected through Facebook than other sites but it didn't start out that way as the intention they made connections on Facebook they built a social circle on Facebook and made friends there and that led to something that then became romantic that to me is a valid way of doing things so I'm saying this to say not just because Facebook is a more of a inclusive um, no inclusive wrong word a more um, detailed presentation of people's lives because it has you know what their employment is where they live what, they, what school they've been to which they ideally they feel like oh, honestly it's more content you're getting on most of the dating apps so I think personally it's a better way to meet somebody and that's really my talk today I'm gonna keep it simple um, because I get it back in the room and that's the unfortunate thing for the weekend I've got something brewing for tomorrow it's gonna be a more detailed um, talk at 5 p.m. Pacific time but this is just a little nudge to say maybe you don't want to keep going on the dating apps maybe you want to meet somebody that's closer to real life than those apps and that for me is something like Facebook which is a more interactive human connected place to meet people my thoughts anyway so having said that um, I thank you for watching my broadcast it's a short one today again as I mentioned because I'm going to get back into the event because I'm going to take a quick break from the event um, you're going to see my broadcast before I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time and I managed to do it every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time this weekend as well which is rare when I'm at events um, if you want to watch my replays well if you're going to join me live please join me at my personal page which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby at 5 p.m. Pacific time every, front, every day of the week so tomorrow will be episode 676 um, the replays are on my business page on Facebook and on my YouTube channel to give you the links for those so on my personal, sorry, my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, all the replays live. And then on my business, uh, sorry, on my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel, which is Barry Selby. I have a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. You can watch them all there. If this has provoked anything for you, or you have any questions or thoughts, please put them in the comments below, and I'll respond when I sign off, either on YouTube or Facebook. And if you want to join me live tomorrow, find me on my personal page. With that, um, 
so they're happy dating. If you want help in the area of dating and relationships, I invite, I invite you to reach out to me. I'll put a link in the comments for a contact form so you can find me. Um, and we can talk that way. But otherwise, um, I think I'll leave it like that. Questions, thoughts, please put them in the comments. I'll respond when I sign off. And uh, has this provoked anything for you? Has this given you some thoughts? Do you agree with this? Do you disagree with this? I'd love to hear from you. With that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Take care. Bye.